Hey guys, hope that uh, you're doing well. Hope that uh, you know you're in good health. This is the first uh, day in Tallinn, Estonia, and looks like a few people got there just like us a little early because uh, they were sitting there waiting for the room to be done. This is Hotel Centennial. Um, good hotel, really enjoyed it, and I'm doing a voiceover because of the music that's playing different spots. Copyright keeps coming, you know, a uh, problem with YouTube, so anyway, you're going to have to listen to a uh, voiceover. So we're leaving Hotel Centennial, and we're going to go out and turn right. If you're watching this video and you're in uh, Tallinn, and you're in a hurry, you want to find a restaurant, and you're staying in this hotel, you can watch this video, and you'll get there, because we did it before you. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to film the whole trip real time, because that'd be a couple of hours, you know. But uh, what I did was uh, we walked down the street, and I'd stop filming. And then if we change direction, if we had to cross the street or whatever, uh, start filming again. So it's a little choppy, but hey, who wants to sit there? You know, I know there is videos of people just filming the whole walk. That's not uh, the idea behind this. I just wanted to take you along on our first uh, restaurant in Estonia, in Tallinn. So, what's our uh, take on Tallinn? It's our new favorite spot, period. Uh, the safety, the city is, is amazing, uh, with no problems, it's very safe. Uh, people, I, I couldn't believe it. it took a while to get used to, people just leaving their laptops and expensive phones and, and uh, cameras and going to the washroom. And, Ten minutes later, come back and saw there. <laughs> Nobody looking after it either. Uh, people are not even, not even looking at it in a weird way. I think it's because it seems like everybody in Tallinn is working. So, if that is the case, maybe people is happy. Maybe you know, crime is down. Uh, I'd have to look it up, but uh, uh, no evidence of uh, crime like that. In Tallinn, uh, there's not a lot of houses. Uh, it's mostly apartment buildings, and they're usually nice apartment buildings. And apparently, it is f affordable, according to some some of the locals. So, Tallinn, if you didn't know, is a what they call a digital nomad city. And it was explained to me it was the the most business startups in Europe, and Talon, when they got their freedom, you, some years later, uh, they really started to focus on technology and drawing a young crowd. And they succeeded beautifully. Uh, I'd say the average person is 50 years old or less in Talon. Uh, it's, it's a young, young, it's occupied by young people. Uh, you'll see scooters everywhere. There, there you go. But uh, you just tap your card. I don't know if you pay um, by the distance or pay by the time. I don't know how they charge them because I never see anybody charging them. They just park them on the sidewalk uh, in a marked off area. So I don't know if it's wireless charging or how that works. So talent is also very clean i won't mention the city in this video uh it was somewhere else in europe and it i know i'm exaggerating here but it seemed like you were up to your ankles in dog shit oh seriously it it, it, it was turds everywhere i couldn't get over it it was like it was almost like i was home again <laughs> but uh no garbage and you guys follow the channel you know that uh, I've said uh, a 40 minute drive where I live once a week you can fill a big garbage truck industrial garbage truck no problems people driving around you know tossing out their KFC bags and buckets and bones
mountains and you name it. And, oh yeah, just driving down the highway and throwing it out. You don't see any evidence of this here. Uh, so basically, Talon was safe, clean, and fun. We went done all the old town, took about a week. And uh, the people are, are friendly, but they're not, you know, friendly where you go to Walmart and you buy something and you're there 20 minutes like people where I am, where I'm from. I mean, the cashier will look at you standing there for 10 minutes and they'll just talk and talk and talk to a friend or whatever, And but it's not like that there. Here's a restaurant I'm not going to pretend that uh, I can pronounce that. But we will go ahead and show you the goodies. Very friendly service here. And uh, another thing about Talon, mostly all the young people speak perfect English. And the old people can get by as well. So, as you see, it's not a bad restaurant right here we uh add, we both actually add elk and it was a yummy uh it was so tender there was no bone in it so i can't say it fell off the bone but it uh it used to fall off the fork because it was so tender um the prices reasonable for what you get uh again the portions don't look like much, but uh, they don't have a weight problem there. That's another thing in Europe. A lot of Europe that we were, uh, you didn't see a lot of weight problems uh, like me. <laughs> right? But uh, so I just uh, going to leave you here now with a few pictures. I don't know why. I don't know if their name means a dog or what, but uh, anyway, here's a few pictures of the food. It was delicious. And I'll show you now. See how tender that is? Just look at that. Wow. Yep. Nothing but the best, man. <laughs> Seriously, though, uh, we, we couldn't find bad food in Talon if we tried, I think. Now, we might have a video coming up on another place in Europe. We couldn't find a good meal, and we did try. <laughs> That's quite the difference, huh? So we're just going to head back now. So, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little little video. Uh, I know not much. Uh, just the first video getting into Talon. We didn't know where we were going and figured take you along. That's, that's part of the fun. So uh, if you guys are want, thinking about coming to Talon, I don't think you will ever be disappointed. I think you're going to go away just like us and say we have found our new best place. Anyway, take care, guys, and see you on the next one.